In this example, we are going to demonstrate the TI-84 plus for finding area under the curve or probability under the normal distribution curve. We can go to our calculator and see that we have this VARS button and in blue it says distri, which means distribution. So if we hit blue with blue, we'll see all the distribution and you'll notice some of these we're going to use throughout the course and we have normal CDF in which we're going to use for this example. What's nice about normal CDF is all we really need is a lower bound and upper bound. So if we take a look at our example where we're given the amounts of nicotine in a certain brand of cigarette that are normally distributed with the mean of 0.921 grams and a standard deviation of 0.292 grams, we can find the probability of randomly selecting a cigarette with 0.366 grams of nicotine or less. So over here to the right, I have a picture with the mean at the peak and then one standard deviation away to the left three times and then twice to the right. And we can see here that the area to the left looks like a tail, right, the left tail. And so since this graph goes on forever, we're going to have a left bound over there, maybe at negative infinity, but we just call it a negative one E99 in the calculator, right? So let's go ahead and look at this. So the probability that we have 0.366 grams of nicotine or less means that if I click to over here on the calculator and get the normal CDF menu, I would use the smallest number our calculator can give, which is negative one E99. And if I went ahead and hit negative here and E1, and E is right here, blue with blue, right? It's the second comma and notice it brings up the E99. And then we have the upper value to be where the shading ends, which is at this value they give us at 0.366 grams. The mean is 0.921 in the problem and the standard deviation is 0.292. And we'll paste it and then we get this area rounded to four decimal places of 0.0287 rounded to four decimal places. This means it's about 3% that you're going to randomly select a cigarette with 0.366 grams or less. In part B, it states that the probability, we want to find the probability of randomly, selected, randomly selecting a cigarette with 0.366 grams of nicotine or more. So this is going to be the same function, right, of normal CDF uh, hitting second VARs um, number two, and now the lower we can see from the shading here, if it's more, it's going to be area to the right, and therefore we have to start at 0.366, and then we end over here at positive infinity. But for our calculator, the largest number that our calculator can compute is 1E99. The mean and standard deviation, notice, are the same, and then we'll paste and we get 0 0.9713, 0 0.9713. So about a 97% chance you're going to get uh, randomly select a cigarette with 0.366 grams of nicotine or more. The last one is going to be finding the probability of randomly selecting a cigarette between 0.366 grams and 0.956 grams of nicotine. We can see from the picture here and shaded that the right and upper bound value is a little bit to the right of the mean and um, here uh, the 0.366 to the left of the mean. But good thing for our calculator, when we go to the distribution menu and we click two, all we need is a lower and upper bound. Our lower bound is still 0.366, but they wanted the upper end point to be 0.956 grams of nicotine. So 0.956. And then go ahead, the mean and standard deviation stay the same, paste, and the, that means the area in between 0.366 and 0.956 is 0.5190.
Okay, that was the normal CDF function in your calculator.